animal versus human communication. So semanticity, it is one of the design features. If somebody says, pass the soul, he knows that his sentence, and he knows that it, the sentence has meanings which will be understood. So we say that specific sound signals are directly tied to certain meaning. So we know whenever we use a certain symbol, it has a certain meaning. So words are tied with their meanings. For example, we take a cluster of phonemes and make words like pit, bit, and tip. We know that they have meaning. Similarly, we take certain phonemes, uh, morphemes like hood, and make word childhood, brotherhood. So we know that the uh, morpheme has meaning, same meaning in the uh, uh, in these two words. So, signals have meanings. There is a fixed relationship between a signal and a meaning. When we are in, involved with a communication system, the success of that communication system depends on the relationship of the signal with its meaning or signal or symbol without meaning. So, semanticity refers to the idea that speech sound can be linked to specific meaning, a fundamental aspect of all communication system. The existence of communication system, both uh, man or uh, uh, non-man, depend on the, uh, on the relationship of uh, signals and the meanings because they both make the communication system. Obviously, other um, other attributes are also involved. So let's take the example of vervet monkey alarm calls demonstrate a kind of referential specificity term functional reference because these calls are vary from predator to predators and they have certain uh, a certain reference. So the, every call has a certain referent. Uh, so that's why we say that it's a referential specificity. Since the calls can be interpreted as being about certain creatures, and since their acoustic structure does not resemble the referent in any way, they can be ascribed having semanticity and having arbitrariness. As I said, that they vary from the predator to predator, so they have the both these characteristics of uh, of design features that they are having semanticity at one hand and arbitrariness at another hand. So these calls uh, have some relationship uh, with, with the human arbitrariness and uh, hu human semanticity. Though some of the uh, researchers do not agree with it. Their basic claim is that uh, the, these calls, these alarm clock, come from the limbic area of the, uh, of the brain, whereas human beings uh, use their signals from the neocortic area of the brain. The clearest case of arbitrariness and semanticity manifested by a non-human comes not surprisingly from the apes and from visual rather than vocal uh, communication. So, surprisingly, as it is said, the ape communicate uh, or complete certain tasks given to it which require processing of abstract token, which are of highly uh, abstraction. So, this aspect of uh, doing tasks uh, which is uh, not verbal but of uh, non-verbal communication is, uh, is, a, is a symbol or uh, is a sign that they have to some extent some ability to use these abstraction of uh, thought. So, uh, there are other, um, other non-mammals uh, which can also uh, use this alarm clock like uh, chickens. They can... Uh, they can use these alarm clocks. Similarly, the research on monkeys also show that uh, they are also capable of uh, uh, doing some, uh, uh, some, act some actions like uh, abstract, uh, abstract token or arbitrary tokens.